Squadcast TV, smoothest podcast in the world. Today, I got my partner. Been a long time coming for this one. Got my boy Rashad in the building. What's happening with you, bro? Yes, sir, hey, hey. Thank you, man. Thank you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know it, you know it. It's been a long time, yeah. bro. It's been a long time. Me and yes, sir. Man, go back like four flats on cat. That part. Right. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Hey, Chuck, yes, sir. Man, let me tell you one thing. Yeah, talk to me. This is the coolest dude right here, bro, since. Uh, pockets on jeans, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, look, I appreciate sure. it, bro. No, you're very well. Thank you, man. I've been watching you since the beginning, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, and thank you. I, I see hey. you, bro. <laughs> man, it's, this is official, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You know, so I'm blessed, and yeah. thank you for having me. Well, I appreciate you, man. But look, this, let's make this about you, man. But I appreciate that. I really do. So let's uh, give me give me a quick backstory, man. You know uh, where you from, how you was raised, and what led uh, to the military experience and everything like that. Okay. And also the skateboarding. We gonna talk about that too for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, no doubt, man. So uh, let me let me know. Let me paraphrase it for you. Uh, basically, I grew up in Hollywood, yeah. California. Okay. Uh, raised, born and raised in, uh, in Hollywood, South Central, and from there, yeah, I was in South Central with for about. Six years when my right. mom's was staying at my grandma's house. Okay, uh, right there off Avalon, bro. We was down there yeah. with, the, with the, you know, with the cribs. Right, right. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it was all good. Moms didn't really want us around that, you know. Of course. So, so uh, we bounced around. Came right. more towards like the Inland Empire, you yeah. know. Uh, Mobile. I was around Mobile for a long time, bro. Grew up there. That's crazy. That's from my hometown too. That's, yeah. that's wild. That's yeah, 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 man. Hey, it's a small world, dog. You know. So, uh, I so did. what high school you go? Did you go to high school and shit out there? I did. What high school you go to? I went to Valley. Valley View, nice. Hell yeah. I went to Mova. Mova High. Mova. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know a few people that went over there too. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it's man. a nice place to live, bro. I like I like Mova, man. I miss it actually. It's it's something <laughs> else, bro. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, it's, it was obviously it has its good, but that's anywhere you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, they, at one point they was calling it the murder. Right. <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> so, so you know it was turned up, bro. You know it was so, turned up. They was calling it the murder. So yeah, you know it was, it was acting. And it was just people migrating from LA out towards there. You know, just like everybody else was. The rent was cheaper. Yeah. It was more opportunities. For sure. You know, For sure. Right? So. Yeah, it, like it's, it's like more people moving more east, bro. Because now, like now, you got you know people went from LA to Marina Valley, from Marina Valley. Now everybody in the desert and shit. So <laughs> next, you know, we about to be way in fucking uh, uh what is it called? Uh, we gonna be a black, bro. black, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, they just moving us. I think it's so expensive, bro. That shit crazy. Okay. So um, understand. so so what uh what 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 uh inspired you to go to the military? Was it like your pops, your family, uh, and shit, or was it something you wanted to do? Yeah, no, definitely uh, military upbringing. Uh, my stepfather, he was in the service for about 25 years. So, yeah, it definitely, you know. Oh, it's in the family. It's in the family. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Very, very structured. Mm-hmm. Very structured. Uh, uh, to be honest, though, it was more so the dream. The dream that was sold to me at yeah. the time. You know yes, sir. I mean? Yes, sir. And, and, and uh, growing up and being a young kid with so much aspiration is it's something to be sought after, you know what I mean? And it was pretty simple, bro. Uh, this is where skateboarding ties in, you know. Yes, the dude, the recruiter, he was like, "Look, you get to go to all these places, right, right. ride your skateboard. That's crazy. Hey, mm-hmm. for free, and you gonna no. get paid, and you gonna get paid. Can't. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, what branch you end up joining? In the Navy. Went to the Navy. The Navy. So, yeah. what, what, uh, what, what, what made you decide to go to the Navy? And you know, instead of like the, you know, the National Guards or the Army, you know, the, uh, what do they call them, um, Marines? Yeah. Uh, so like I said, definitely his upbringing yeah. in that in that derived into the family. You know yeah. what I mean? was, was your family also Navy? Uh, from the majority of yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody went to to the Navy. Uh, his his job was a lot different than what I was trying to do. You know what I mean? So initially, I did want to go Army. Yeah. Uh, the Army wouldn't take me. What, what for? Do you know why? Flat foot. No way. I heard it's weird little disqualifications like that. I heard you can have too much ass, my nigga. <laughs> hey, no, I swear to God, nigga. I know it's hell crazy, bro. But I swear to God, like, you can't. I mean, they worded it more like like pro- professional than the big ass. But it like, right. you can't have an oversized buttocks, my nigga. Like, I swear to God. There, there is a, a body mass, yeah. weight limit, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So some dudes is just naturally built like mountains. You know, you know what I mean? Big, right. big bread motherfuckers. Yeah. So what they do, bro, is they, they measure the neck. Yeah. And if your neck is too wide, right, then you then you too big. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if you big body, you got a slim neck, right? Then you, what? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So what do you know why why that is? Is it just like they feel like you're not gonna pass like the physical test or is it just people mostly fail when they have that that amount of BMI or, or what? To be specific, uh, with 
our branch of yeah. the service, it has everything to do with being able to climb out the little holes right. and on, yeah. the, on the ship, you know? Yes, sir. Because if something happens, God forbid, yeah. the ship get blown up. Right. The only way to stop the ship from sinking yeah. is to close off all the hatches. Right, right. And if you... <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, you're done, no, fam. You know, no. so yeah, it's more like a safety precaution for yourself. Right, right. Like, too tall. Mm -hmm. Too tall. You could be too tall. You could be too tall, bro. Wow. Yeah. What do you know? What where's where do they draw the line? Probably like six eight. Six eight. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty tall though. Because now you hitting your head on all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. especially in, that makes sense in the Navy because I know some of the like little entrance is like small, bro. It's it's yeah. tight. It's yeah. tight. So yeah, definitely um, with him being already in the Navy and me growing up with him, experiencing the things that he did, uh, watching him take us different places, uh, watching him get different cars, yeah. different houses. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, that's a sustained lifestyle. You know what I mean? If, if work, if work, trying to work out and, and life doesn't work, then that's easy. Right, easy right. for that. You know? Yeah, especially because the benefits, nigga, the benefits is great. They, they, yeah, they, I mean, I feel like it should be better, but they look out for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, can you explain your military ex like uh, experience overall? You know, from beginning to end, if you liked it, the, the hard times, the easy times, the good times. Yeah. Uh, okay. Initially, initially it's easy, bro. Yeah. It's all, off the bat, it's easy. Like like you said, you yeah. see you see the benefits, yeah. the medical, the dental. Sure. Right. Um, you see that they're taking you different places. On what you can consider the company done, definitely, definitely. You know what I mean. Uh, you see the paycheck. Yeah, it's it's kind of small at I, first. I, I heard that run right? the paychecks be kind of. It's hard. it's kind of small at first, but you got to consider everything else they're giving you. Right. Now, if you single, and you ain't got no kids, then you're gonna get stuck in a marriage yeah. or something like that. Right. Hey, but you don't gotta pay for your place yeah. to sleep. To sleep. Oh, and and if you really want to, you can get free food. Yeah. You just gotta go get it. You know what I mean? But like what like where do you go get it at? Like from like the chow hall or do you have to like go shop for it and they give you like some food stamps or there's a chow hall mm -hmm. where you go to the uh, onto the boat. Yeah. They have to ship and give you the food too, bro. Give me uh give me like the hardest part of it, bro. What's what was your for you personally, what was your hardest the uh, hardest part yeah. is uh is is the mental game. Mm -hmm. The mental game, you gotta be really structured up top to understand that uh, a few a few different things. The first one I would say, bro, is being uh, uh, being subtracted from from your family. You know what I mean? Being being away. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And 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 what's crucial is that it's not that they take the opportunities away; it's that they restrict them to a certain amount of people. Yeah. And those opportunities are uh, your ability to communicate with your family uh, via email. Uh, Facebook, yeah. internet, phone call. Yeah, yeah they like take it off. <laughs> take it off. The ship is that is that for forever or is that just during like your deployments or is it like even during your deployments is that still it's, tricky? It's during the deployments, yeah. but it's at sale times. It's basically right. like when we're not during operations, right? And right. you don't want nobody trying to leak no information on yeah. the phone, you know. So yeah. do people still do that shit though? Like people still be using their phone and shit, like you know sneaking their phone on board or whatever it means. There's, no, that's that's not the problem. Mm -hmm. There's there's no there's no problem about what you right, take, right. take with you, you know, because you're not gonna get no service. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're not gonna get no yeah. anyways. Be you know? middle of the ocean type shit. Yeah, but you're not gonna get no anyways. But that's crazy. It's the cool part about it is. Let me let me take the back. The crew the crew part about it. Yeah. Is is having that disconnection. You know what I mean? And so if you're not if you're not structured. Yeah. Up top, bro. Yeah. It's like. And how I kept how I kept through it, uh, video games. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, uh, that was in 2010, 2012. A lot of different games dropped at that time. Yes, sir. Uh, Skate Two, Skate Three was coming right. out. Yes, sir. Uh, Guitar Hero. Hey, I love Guitar Hero. Bro, <laughs> locks. I love Hero. that shit, bro. Man, it's mm -hmm. it's those little things, you know. what I mean, that's gonna keep. That's gonna okay, you will have to bring that shit with you, or yeah, you can yeah. you can buy it. You can have it shipped to the ship. Right. Bro, I had them ship a fun box. A phone box? No, a fun box. A fun. What's a fun box? What's a fun box? You, you can skate on it. You lying, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah. So, yeah. How, so how does it work? Like when the ship gets like uh, I don't know what they call it, like docked or whatever. That that's where they will deliver the. Like, how does it work? They don't, don't tell me they bring it right to the boat. Nigga, no, nigga, okay. in, the, in the water. No way. <laughs> in the water, bro. That's crazy, I bro. Lie, bro. I lie. That is wild. Hey, Amazon, nigga, y'all own this up, bro. <laughs> That is trippy. And so, where are you? Where are you ordering it from? Are you ordering it from like the military, bro? Is that like no? Nah, you order just from like regular website. 
How the fuck they get to the wall? Like, that shit don't even add up, bro. Like, it's a special address. Yeah, for it's, sure. Uh, it's either an APO or an FPO right. address. And they'll bring it in the water, bro. And they, so, yeah, they, they put it on the ship. And yeah. then while we get to a certain cruising of speed. Course, of course. And then what they do is they bring another ship on the side of us. Yeah. And then they keep the helicopters. Wow. They so you've seen a lot of shit in, like, a lot of different, like, shit that the average person don't see every day. Like you said, like, helicopters flying in. You know, being on the boats, different countries and shit. What what countries have you visited during your time in deployment? Yeah, yeah, bro. I've seen I've seen a good amount of stuff. Both uh, both both very extravagant and uh, and how can I put it, enlightening. You know what I mean to my to my well being and both uh, I would say detrimental. You know what I mean? Like I said to the mental game, a lot of people were uh, uh, if not trying to trying to you know off themselves. Whatever. Really? Yeah, bro. Just doing. Whatever kind they possibly sure. could, overdoses, like jump, jumping off the ship. Yeah. Wow, you seen you seen this during your time? Like, they seen this happen, or you heard stories? Uh, technically, I haven't. I won't say that I have seen it. I wasn't like chilling, and this nigga was like, "Yo, watch this." Right, right, nah. right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Nah, uh, but you hear it on the, on, the, on the radio. The whole the whole ship has one. It's called right. the one MT. It's a giant radio. The captain get on the radio, and he's like, "Yo." Uh, he doesn't say it like this. I can't remember exactly how they call it. Yeah. yeah. But they basically Is call it like codes or something? Or? It's a man over yeah. They call it man overboard. Right. They call it man overboard and everybody got to go to their duty station. Right. It's basically where we, we work at. Yeah. They sit down and count everybody. All right, everybody here. Right. And that's how they figure out wow. who the fuck jumped off. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Nice. So so you you didn't witness it, but you were there when it happened. Yeah. And like, you know. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. And then they, they pick him up out the water and shit. You know, you looking at him like, bro, you all right? Oh wait, oh, but he didn't die or nothing. Nah. Oh, okay, okay. But what did he fall off on accident? Did he do it on purpose, bro? They yeah, they jump off. What? Wait, like, like like a suicide attempt type shit? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. And what what? I mean, I don't know if you know this, but what like what is like the root cause of somebody that would make somebody? Is it the, the the military experience and they trying to get they trying to like get out or is it some external shit that happened like? Outside it's, of the military, that kind of made them flip a switch and made them want to do that. It's both. It's both. It's uh, it's not something like you probably see a lot of military guys that walk around like throw a hard ass yeah. and shit. No, it ain't. It ain't nothing like that. Man. Yeah. It's to be truthful. It's not really about how strong you are physically. It's more uh, uh, your your courage sure. and and your and your mental yeah. strength. You know what right. I mean? Because. Uh, you, I'm probably sure you see Full Metal Jacket, you know, the drill sergeant that she's breaking us down. Yeah. Bro, they're going to break it down. Yeah. They're going to break it down. But that's that's how you right. truly find out how strong you really are, you know what I mean? And so uh, it's, it's, a, it's important that, how can I put it? It's, it's important, right, that you don't let it, like, really alter your mind. Of course. And uh, you do have some sort of function. For me, it was video games yeah, yeah. and that and that and that light skateboard. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Most yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. So, with that being said, the, the duties that you do are tedious. Yeah, yeah. you gonna get dirty. Right, right. You gonna be sweaty. Yeah, you not gonna eat. Right, right. You yeah, know? like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you, people get tired. They get broke down. They like, damn. How long we been on this motherfucker? Wow. Oh, we one month. We got eight more to go. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Like, what? That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro, it get wild. Yeah. Is, is there anybody that don't know how to swim? Because I would assume if you're in the Navy, you should know how to swim. Yes. The niggas make it through without knowing how to swim? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk to you about that, and I do want to get to you about, that, uh, yeah. about the places that I've been. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So about the swimming thing, yeah. uh, I'm going to be real with you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I passed. I passed the service. Okay, okay. Uh, but I'm out. I'm out the service now. So, but <laughs> I guess it's, it's, it's cool for me to say yeah. this, right? Yeah. Um, I cheated, bro. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> yeah, what you doing? What you doing? I cheated. It's definitely a possibility to not know how to swim, right? But I think that's on an efficient level. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm not, Ma- I'm not Michael Phelps. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Of course. Of course, but if I'm I'm not gonna drown. Right, right, exactly. And that, that's like to them. That's probably like the, all that matters. Just don't drown. That's it. You don't gotta be a fucking pro and that bitch back backstroking and shit. As long as you can not drown. Like, that's, yeah. that's it, bro. Right. So they give you it's a three part test, right? Right. The first part is uh, what's called a prone float or a dead man's float. 
Yeah. And I'm 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 a, I'm a thin dude, you know. I don't carry a lot of body fat on. Yeah. Couldn't do it, bro. Really? Couldn't do it. I feel you. Is that when you just lay there and just kind of let your body just like like float? You could do it that way on your back. Yeah. Or what they wanted us to do was on our face. Really? With your head to the side, ear in the water, but enough to breathe out. You right. know, on the face, but kind of like dead man's float. Yeah. They said, uh, in theory, your head above the water uh, is weighs ten times more now. Really? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. Uh, I, I, you would think like in the water you you'll be lighter. You know what I mean? Yeah. What? Oh, but their body is because right. it's dense into the water, but now you have the fucking head. Right. So, right. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. So they were like, they were like, quit trying to keep right. your head afloat. Mm -hmm. So and that did. Right. And it would work. So weird. <laughs> it would work. Yeah. It would work. But hey, I don't know, man. Let me tell you something, bro. It wasn't nothing but black people that had the hardest time. No way! <laughs> you lying! <laughs> Only the black people, bro. That's crazy. So the stereotype is real. Black people can't swim, huh? <laughs> you know what it is? Yeah. There's not enough fund fundamentals. Yeah. Or, or or enough of the pools availability. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what the, what they were doing was if you couldn't pass it that time, that's fine. You're going to come back next week. You're going to keep trying to pass this swim test all the way through boot camp if, if you don't get it. You know what I mean? And if you don't get it, then you can't. You, gotta get it. Well, you can stay. Right. <laughs> but, but, but you wouldn't want to stay if you can't pass it or what? No, nah, bro. You've been there for a month already. Right, right. At that point, yeah, no, I would, I wouldn't want to stay. And what, so, what was the other? You said it was three like tests. So yeah, that was one so, was the other one. So the pro flow, uh, uh, like I said, naturally the black people, man. That's man. crazy. That's wild, bro. And that's like all of them. Like it wasn't even like one exceptional nigga that just like bro. No, no, bro. That's it's crazy. hey, it's like a domino effect. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in there, cold. I, I said, oh shit, I got it. Right. I got it. They said, they said, kick your legs backwards mm. like a bike. Right. Right. And then to keep, they to keep you afloat. It's cold. It's working, bro. Domino effect. Yeah. Old girl over here start tripping. Yeah. Wow. Nick start tripping. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. Everybody tripping. That's wild, bro. That's wild, nigga. And you know what? It's funny. Uh, there was a friend of mine. I feel like there was somebody you knew at, at Veterans. I, I don't know if it was Danny, somebody, but they told me that they uh, they had the similar experience and the black people wasn't out able to swim too. And this comes from a white nigga too, and a black nigga, so you know it's real, bro. That's crazy. Hey, it's that sad. is wild. It's <laughs> now, it's, there was a few, there was a few of these these superhumans. Yeah. So I don't know where they come from. Dude, yeah, superhumans. I call them super. <laughs> they look like yeah. fishes in yeah. the water, bro. Wow. I mean, better than anybody right. else out there. Yeah. Black people. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Cold. Yeah. No. Right. Hey, you want to be a seal? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, that's good for them. It wasn't working for me, bro. Yeah. So, hey, this is where I had to do my thing. Right. Talk to me. The second part, right? Right. Is where they, they give you the jumpsuit, like the coveralls. Okay. You got to hop in the water, open your collar, and as soon as you jump in the water, you got to stuff as much air. Right. Into your okay. Yeah. Right. And then you tie it tight. Okay. Bam. So now you got an air pocket, right? Right, 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 right. And then supposedly this air pocket will keep you afloat long enough right. to get help. Yeah, exactly. For sure. And I didn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass that motherfucker. I didn't believe it, bro. I didn't believe it. This is the Astro too. So this, we hop up. We hop up out the water. They say, all right, you guys are done. You got the Astro or Astro? Out the first part, bro. We hop up out the water. They say, okay, who uh, who completed the phone flow? I guess bro wasn't watching. Hey, man, no hesitation. <laughs> Sorry, bro. No, you good. Man. Go ahead. My hand went up, bro. Mm. My hand went up. Yeah. Wait, what? So what'd you raise your hand for? The prone flow, the dead, yeah. dead flow. Right, right, right. I didn't do it, but he said, "Who did it?" Right. I did oh, it. I feel it. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Tops. Yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> he said, "Cool, you go to step two. Right. Bam, step two. Like I told you, with right, the right, air pop. Right, right, right. No doubt. Knock that out. I didn't yeah. believe that was gonna work. First, yeah. It worked. First try. Work. No, no. So like, so that's so the air is in the back. Why don't you like? I don't know. It seemed kind of weird. You, you have enough to where you can keep your neck, right. you keep it tight, like right. really tight, you know, by the collar. And that shit worked though, like it really keep you up on top of the water? It's a little air bubble, bro, right. in, the back of your, in the back of your shirt. Yep. It'll keep That's you up the water. That's wild. Wow. So with a collared shirt, you can stuff as much air in there as possible. Right. Just big, big swings, you know? Close hands, big close hands swings. And what about, uh, what's the, what's the third step? 
The third one, you gotta jump in the water from 40 feet yeah. and then swim across the pool. All the same easy. That was the easiest one. Backstroke. Backstroke, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backstroke, bro. Yeah. Chilling. Backstroke, though? Uh, Chilling. Well, I that seemed kind of hard. <laughs> I thought it was regular stroke. Nah, because my, my breast stroke, it looked like a like a death stroke. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, bro, right. yeah, we'll make it. Yeah, we yeah. fight in the water. But you made it, but you made it. Yeah, no, backstroke all day, bro. Easy. Easy. That's the easiest one to me. Because um, it's more, that's the most relaxing. Your, your lungs are up yeah, above yeah. the water, you know what I mean? All you got to do is breathe, bro. Okay. Yeah, that was so easy. That's cool. So is that that particular part of it? That is what uh, is that boot camp? That, that's or is that like pre boot camp? Or like a, that's one part of the boot camp. Mm. Oh, this one. Yo, what is what? Now he says boot, bro. Yeah, he says boot. I'm hot. He says no. That's that's one part of the boot camp. Yeah. That's one part of the boot camp. That's just one part. And it's, is, is that the hardest part? Is that like the most difficult part to pass? The most difficult part? Just the physical, like the running. I think you can do that shit. Yeah. The running, bro, running, easy. Push up, easy. Set up, easy. All that physical shit, bro. Yeah. What, what, what's it? What, then what is it? What is it then? What, what, cause I, bro, I've never heard nobody like enjoy boot camp, nigga. It's gotta be, it's, I heard it's rough, nigga. Wow, bro, I had a great time. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Because that's supposed, you must have been physically fit. Nigga, like already, you're like an athlete, <laughs> an athlete. Nigga. If you're an athlete, I think it's a piece of cake. Yeah. But even like if you're just an average nigga that just like you don't like you, you might not be overweight, but you still don't necessarily do physical activities. You would think that it will be tough on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> because it's not like like it's not like how we do right now, like a routine exercise. Right. They can come in the room and look at something. And be like, that's fucked up. Everybody get down. Damn. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> He's like, it wasn't me. Well, you should have told him. Should have told him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, so what's like, what's like the uh, the niggas be stitching in there a lot, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's one of them. That's they own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They own them. All right. They make. They almost like they yeah. reward you to snitch almost. No. No, they don't. No. What? The niggas still snitch. They what own. The fuck? They own. Them. Everybody get that's down. Wild. Then they pull him to the side. Yeah, hey, you know you're fucked up, right? Yeah. So now the, we don't whoop your yeah, ass. Yeah, because you made everybody out there. You better hope when we sleep. Yeah. They don't whoop your right, ass. Right, right. Yeah, bro. No, nah, that's. And then like right. random, random like uh, this fucking unexpected. Hey, y'all about to run five miles? Just pull. Just run in that bitch like it's three a.m. They wake you up like spontaneous shit. That's uh, they, taxing. Thing. They do it sometimes. Right. But for the most part, boot camp is really is really scheduled. Yeah. It's really scheduled. They have deadlines to meet. Mm. Um, they have appointments they have to make. Right. And you have over thirty people that you have to do it with, you know what I mean? As a as a division commander, as a dude right. who runs the right. You know what I mean? So no, it's very scheduled. Because mm. uh, they do get deducted points. Right. And if you lose too many points, yeah. they'll kick you out of being a division commander. Really? Yeah, yeah, and that's gonna look bad on your record for sure. For yeah, sure. yeah, you know what I mean. So no, they're so they on top of it. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah for uh-huh. sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, what about the countries that you visited? Uh, so let me see. Off top, I've been to uh, I've been to Bahrain. Bahrain. Uh, well, where's that near? What what major like uh, country is that near? I've never heard of that shit before. Uh, I think it's in. Uh, I think it's in Africa. Or, or, or Saudi Arabia, right? I can't be specific. Oh, okay, so somewhere over there, somewhere so, in, uh, that's Asia, right? That's, that's like the Middle East, yeah, Middle yeah, East. somewhere okay. over there. Okay. And then I've been to Dubai. Okay. But I was there before. It was like, yeah, I, I was. Well, it's nice now. I was there yeah. when the tallest building was there. Mm-hmm. I was there. Oh, okay, okay. But now it's even. Yeah. It's even more extravagant. Wow. They got the uh, the Palms Hotel. Have you seen that? Nope. Uh-huh. It's a, it's a hotel, but then when you look at it from the top view, yeah. it looks like a palm tree. I'm about to look that shit up. Oh, yeah. I'm, about to, I'm about to see this. Yeah, but yeah. Dubai, Dubai palm, palm Hotel. So Dubai, what what other countries have you been to? Uh, I've been to uh, Italy, Turkey. And this is all through the, mil- through the military? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just us little, So every about two or three months, because the ship got to refuel, they got to bring supplies back to the boat, you know. Right. The, the captain is like, yo, I want to get off this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> captain ready to go, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Because I think they, them niggas got families, too. Well, then, yeah, then, you know, they VIP. They just flying their family members on. They flying onto the boat with them, bro. Yeah. Uh, I want to see what the was talking about. That shit 
crazy. Yeah, yeah Dubai Punk, the Palm Hotel, man. Hey, but check this out. The coldest, the coldest part, bro, about that blue tent. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> the gas chamber. The gas chamber? Yeah. Bro. Wait, what the fuck? The, they gas y'all? What the fuck? Yeah. But it's like they know it's not gonna kill nobody. No, nah, it's not no mustard gas or nothing like that. <laughs> it's like it's like tear gas. Oh, like yeah, 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 like like almost like a pepper spray type of type of deal or what? They what they do is they crack they they crack it open on hot plate. They crack open two hot plates in a room, and then they got two room, fans behind the hot plate, right, blowing the fumes exactly. into the room. Okay. So when you get in and you stand in line, what they want you to do is you take off your mask. Right. You gotta say your full name. Mm -hmm. Uh, your social right. and your uh, division number. Okay. And some people are lucky they be in the front, right? Mm -hmm. Being everybody. in the front is lucky. Yeah. You would think. Well, how's why so? Because you would think if you're in the front, you get the most of it. You the first one out. Oh. Oh. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> how 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 intense is it though? Is it like uh? Is it like what what's the sensation you get? Does it burn your eyes and make you cough? Is it fuck with your skin or like what's up? It's okay. So you ever hit the dabs? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's that's how intense the coughing is. Really? But it could be severely amplified. Right. Um, I've seen people coming out. I mean, snot, snot wow. running. Wow. Bro, eyes bloodshot to the point where they were blind. Yeah. Blind just from the tear gas. Damn. Bro. Blind. Tongue numb. They drooling. Yeah. Just. How long? How long does the sensation last? Well, it lasts for about a few minutes. Right. And what they tell them, they say, y'all was rubbing your face. They say immediately. Wash your hands. Right, exactly. Wash your hands, because if you touch your face again, you got that same hand coming right back. <laughs> and I'm sure that happened too, because some niggas don't wash their hands. Fuck, that's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. That, yeah, that was the hardest part. Because that put, that put a lot of, uh, uh, even the salt, even the saltest, even the saltest niggas, you know what I mean? It, 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 like I said, bro, it's not about how strong you are. Yeah. It's about knowing that you're putting yourself in a dangerous situation uh -huh. and how you are able to handle the situation and, your, and yourself, you know what I mean, of course. Yeah, make sure, make sure you're ready for the real world when you, when you like the real, the field, the field, quote unquote, right? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, so what was I gonna ask, uh, what was like your daily routine when you was in there, bro? No, not that one, bro. Oh, it's not this one? Let me see, let me see. Oh, let's go to images. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Which one is it? That's it. Oh, this is it? Yep, yeah, bro. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know how much that looks like a palm tree, though, bro. You got it's a top thing. Alright, let's back. Area of view. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's new, man. Hey, Dubai, yeah, Dubai, man, there's something special out there, bro. They, hey, I went out there, they got a mall. One of the malls got a ski resort in the mall. Ski resort. Oh, this is crazy. Look, 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 look. Yeah, yeah, that's it, bro. Big. I wonder if I can make it bigger. That's a, that's a new one. <laughs> that's crazy. That shit look trippy. Yeah. That's, that's wild, bro. I like that, man. That's sick. That's sick, man. Um, so let's talk about skateboarding. Um, did you, did you watch the, the latest SLS? No. No? No. I Number haven't. one? Uh, it was Utah, right? Uh, I don't, which, which event did he bring recently? Because the dude I'm talking about with the last SLS, I believe, uh, uh, not Gustavo. Is it Gustavo Rivero? That's one, like it is. that's one of them. That dude is crazy on the yeah. skateboard, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, I think that was him. Who, who won it? He won, he won. He won. Yeah, he won. So, um, what, what's your skating status like nowadays, bro? What's you doing? Like, is you, uh, you still man. in the field or you, you, you hung it up a little bit or? Uh, it's, it's actually, actually, I was about to put out a little edit today. Uh, just something that I, when I had stacking a bunch of cookies on the phone, you know, I mean, I put out some stuff on the story, but not nothing serious. Uh, I be seeing your shit though, nigga. Yeah, Why they be sure. riffing? I appreciate yes, sir. it. I do got a few, I got a few bangers out there that I haven't put out yet. I'm gonna drop, I'll probably drop one of them. No, I, 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 I ain't been doing nothing crazy, bro. Yeah. You yeah. still skating for uh, the skate park right here with the skate shop? Uh, Lots more better? Man, uh, I'm gonna keep real with you, though. I don't really know what happened with that. Bro. I don't know what happened, bro. Uh, you uh, talking about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind talking about it. I don't mind talking about it. I'm gonna keep real with you. Yeah. Um, I just think, I just think that uh, we just 
went separate paths. Really? You know I mean? that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, to, to sum it all up, bro, yeah. I'm going to sum it all up. Uh, the homie hit me up. Like, this, this nigga hit me up, bro. It's like 3 in the morning, right? right. This nigga called me talking about some Lizzie's. Yeah. That's the first thing he talked about. Off the rip, bro, 3 in the morning. He even talking about some Lizzie's. Yeah. I said, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't hear that shit. And I was like, yo, when, when you, he's like, I forgot what I want to talk about. I said, like, when you know what you want to talk about, mm-hmm. let me know. He's like, and I hung that shit up, you know? Right. Now, I probably shouldn't have hung up like that. Mm-hmm. But I had already, I had some other side shit going on. Uh, baby moms, uh, ex wives, like, oh, bro, oh, every man. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't work. Uh, I didn't tell you about yeah. this. I didn't tell you about this shit going on with the job. Well, what happened with the job, man? What they on? The security, the security license. They got me at, oh, on a risk right now. What? Yeah. Not, not veterans, though? Nah, I'm talking about ESIS. What they, what the, they, they mess with your permits and shit, or what? Yeah, because of child support. No way. Yeah, bro. Bro, wait, wait, that's, you know what? That don't even make any sense, bro. How do you, how, how you mess with child support? You have your kids all the time. I don't go pay child support with no job. Yeah, yeah, that too, that too. Nah, they always do weird <laughs> shit like that. They do that. They count. They cancel your driver's license. Exactly. No. How you go? Hey, <laughs> real shit, bro. That's a, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. Like you expect me to pay this shit? You took what my ability to make you the money to pay it. That shit crazy, bro. It don't make no sense. It makes no sense. No. They, that's another thing they do. They, they mess with your drive. Like, they mess with the shit that you need to get a fucking job. And yeah. Like, what are you doing? That don't make any sense. Yeah, so the license will be next. Yeah. Yeah, man. They should, like, look, if, if, if you want to take my wages or do whatever, whatever, cool. But don't mess, you can't mess with somebody's ability to make money. Yeah, bro. Because they got to pay you in the first place. It's like, that's like you owe in the bank and they, and they you know, they, uh, how do I say it? You, they, they get you fired or something like that. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, don't you want your money back? You, you ain't gonna get it back. <laughs> you really must not want the money now. Nah, bro. It's like I was just a lot, a lot was, was happening, a lot was going down on me, you know. Yeah. So, so he had messaged me right after. He's like, like, hey, I ain't never been rude to you like that. Uh, I don't really know what you got going on. We were rude, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I didn't really lay it on him like that. Yeah. But I was just like, like bro, I'm going through it. Yeah. Like, right. my bad. But I'm stressed. I'm going yeah, through it right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. And this nigga told me to handle it by myself. Right. What does that even? What does he mean by handle it by yourself? Whatever it was to do it to do it solo. The yeah, but why would he say that though? What did what did is that? What did, did he mean that like a, in like a, a meaningful way, or was he just trying to be rude? I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. What if I had been suicidal that night? Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? For sure. So it seemed like he really didn't care then. Like, he really... So, so it's... Damn, that's all bad. That's all bad. Well, you know what? I mean, um... Nothing, bro. Hopefully, Nothing. hopefully so, he gets patched that up. You know? and nah, nah, because it's been a minute. It's been a cool minute. And I don't know if he was waiting for me to give him an apology. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm not... No, I'm not finna apologize for that. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. The, plenty of other niggas he didn't fuck with him. Kiss his ass and shit. That's not me, bro. So they had an event recently. Uh oh. Yeah. They had a whole event at nigga school down the street. Yeah. Like I don't live here. And they didn't even invite you. Damn. That's all bad, man. What? What the niggas live in the Quinta? Yeah. He got to skate. You still be? You still like like outside of the you know the business aspect? Y'all, are you, personally, is y'all cool? You know what I mean? Like on that. Like, could you, would you go in the shop and buy a board? Or? Look, listen. Moss, Moss Moore was was still on my page. Yeah, I was still I was still posting all the shows. Right. I was still skating and yeah. and doing tags. Right, right. You know, what I mean? for sure, absolutely. But the conversation never changed. Yeah, anything about the world. That day he hosted that event without me. Yeah. Yeah. That let me know everything I need. Right, right. that part, that part. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's all bad, man. <laughs> so hey, that's unfortunate. Nah, it's all good, man. I just, yeah. I still been skating. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, still doing, doing shit. Yeah, yeah deal, I'm, dang, I'm bro. still stacking clips. It's all right. good. Yeah. Right. Damn, but, but during during the time of, of your sponsorship, was he was you cool? You know what I'm saying? Was he was he plugging you in at least? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, nah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah things was really good, man. That's true. It's Ace Ace being right here. Right. You know what I mean? Like, bro was good with one of the reps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, 
I don't know. I can't really say for the other guys on the team. Right. That's more more so is their uh, their dedication. Yeah. Not how good they are. They are good. I'm not gonna doubt that. But as far as them seeing the potential that they had and the potential for the shop to grow, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just by skating. Mm-hmm. Just by skating. You know what I mean? And these guys are young right. and they're like, oh, I don't have time. My girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, I got hey, that, that, it. Be that, it be little personal shit that'll stop you from your, your passion too, bro. Like Man, little shit like nah, that. See, that, that's just the excuses that I was not trying to hear. Yeah. You know, and so it was difficult to play this, this role yeah. that nobody wanted me to play. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and he had somebody specified to be. I guess what you would call a manager, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm not even looking at it that yeah. like that. Like exactly. just, just on skate. One hundred percent. You know, one hundred percent. Look, uh, let's let's hit. I want I want to ask you one, one more thing, and we can we can close it out. Uh, what do you think about the whole the Kanye White Lives Matter situation? Because uh, yeah, I know you heard about it. That's just viral, bro. Do you do you even have an opinion on it? Do you think it's you think it was a diss to to black folks? Do you think it was a president himself? You think it's okay? Like, what, what do you think, bro? <laughs> Kanye, man. <laughs> uh, I can say this: uh, Kanye is my alarm clock. I wake up. I wake up to Good Morning. Yeah. It's been on Good Morning for like two years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. So maybe it's maybe something happened along the way. Yeah. Uh, we can't forget that he was in the accident. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's true. It's good. True. It's good. Long term effects. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, most definitely. Most definitely. That brain trauma ain't no, ain't no Bro, joke. And for all we know, in, in five more years, he could be fucking doing some Michael J. Fox yeah, type exactly. stuff. Uh, you know, no disrespect to Michael J. Fox, yes, but sir. I'm just being real. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I wouldn't say it, it's, it's difficult. He he. What I what I mentioned to you earlier. He has had media training, yeah. so he knows what he can and cannot say. Right. You know what I mean. He knows what he can and cannot do, can and cannot wear. Right. Um, if this is backlash towards any of the companies that are, that are taking his money, that's the wrong way to do it. Right. That's I think so. I think that's the wrong way to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, if his sole purpose was to remove himself. Then okay, yeah. I wouldn't call it genius, right. but I said, "Hey, it worked." Uh, and what about what about the anti-Semitic, uh, the anti-Semitic uh, uh, comments? Are you familiar with that? I'm gonna just say, because look, look, real quick, was he was he wrong? Look, well, let me say this before before I answer that. Was, was his statement wrong? A lot of, <laughs> and I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that yeah. based on 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 uh, a racial term, right. of course. I mean. On paper, mm-hmm. by the numbers, by the numbers, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> who, who really, who run it, who run it, right? Absolutely. But you know what? Look, so I watched this podcast, bro, and I mean, this is coming from one Jewish dude. You don't speak for the entire community or whatever, but yeah. he was saying that, I, I, well, not not even not even related to the Kanye situation, but just like particularly when people make, I guess, stereo stereotypical comments about Jewish people about like how they run everything. To him, I and mean, that they got a lot of money, and many or many other. If you ask me, it's a positive trait, right? Like a positive thing. But he was saying that, you know, that the Jewish community doesn't think that that is uh, anti-Semitic to them. However, it's uh, it's it, what makes it anti-Semitic is when you say that they have all these things, but then you also say that there's like an agenda, you know, like a dark agenda or mm-hmm. some shit like that. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so so it's not it's not the comments. It's that it's the comments plus. Oh, they're doing this on like some secretive to get you know because he he also said that you know they run the labels and shit. And you know how there's a lot of like uh, artists being killed and some some conspiracy some conspiracy theorists think that the labels may be the ones putting the hits out. So in other words, he's saying that when you uh when you tie the the Jewish stereotype about them having money and businesses and running shit. Mm-hmm. When you tie it to having a dark agenda, that's when it becomes anti-Semitic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's it's. <laughs> I, it's hard to put your finger on something, yeah. something that we really don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't. And that and I think that's why uh, I don't know if that was because he kept he kept alluding to the point that. Like in uh, Nazi Germany, when the 
whole shit was going down. Yeah. The the same like talking points is what caused the Holocaust. That you know the Jewish people run everything, and they, you know. So that, that is, yeah, it, it, it gets that deep. You know what I mean? He uh, well, he's definitely creating a stir. Yeah, definitely creating a stir. You know, right? Uh, it could be eye opening. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Uh, Some people call him enlightening. He's just, you know, putting people on game. But well, yeah, yeah, you know, um, maybe not some deep, dark, twisted stuff is going on. Yeah. But I wouldn't doubt that uh, there is something systematic in place. Right. right. You know. What I mean? Sure, and it don't even have to necessarily be like something of negativity. You know what I mean? Right. Right. But the, who, who, who's to say that there isn't like bigger forces that pull? Like it could be just like on some like general like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Viral moment, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. okay, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have this beef with such and such because you got an album coming out. It could be something that's coming from the hierarchy, mm -hmm. either and and as far as like structured agendas, but it don't got to be this dark, like all the way to the point where you're talking about like <laughs> you know they get the artists killed and shit, like because that's deep, nigga. That's dark as fuck. Yeah, man, you know, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not going out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Nah, it's it's not going out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so ultimately you still a Kanye fan or not? We'll close it out. Still a fan or are you on a cancel bandwagon? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, bro don't need to be canceled. Yeah. No. No, he don't need to be canceled. I don't think no one should be canceled, bro, by the way by the way. No. That not even like and let me hear the, let me explain myself why they look we didn't open up a whole nother box, but let's let's do it. Yeah. Um let me explain myself why nobody should be canceled. Because in my opinion, right, there's always gonna be speech that you don't like, right? Right. But you can't, you, you, you the, the censor somebody for what you don't like, it might sound good on paper in the moment, but what about when you have an opinion that no one likes? So should, should you get censored too? So you, you shouldn't censor them on any side, bro. Even if you, even if it's the minority speak, bro. Yeah. Like honestly, bro, I think freedom of speech should be not even, it should be like unconditional. Like if, if you wanna be, if you wanna start a KKK rally, the only, the only like objection is violence. If you want to start a KK Corrali because of ideologies, yeah. even if they're violent, bro, as long as you're not acting upon those, you should be able to speak about it publicly. Period, bro. And that's just my opinion. I think it should go that deep because, like I said, once you censor one thing, there's so many doors that can open. And I think the media is, you know, not I don't want to use the word brainwashing, but I think propagandizing to the people that, you know, and making them feel like like uh, censorship is a good thing. Okay, uh, that's a lot to unpack right here. <laughs> it, no, no, it's deep. It's deep. So, with that being said, it's like they're not gonna allow us to say too much, yeah. you know, because uh, our words are very powerful, very powerful, right? Uh, and, and in fact, empower me. Mm -hmm. You know what I yes, mean? Sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, if you take it back to the '80s. When uh, NWA is walking around screaming "fuck the police," right, right, exactly. And now everybody's screaming "fuck the police." Yeah. You know, uh, it's they can't really mitigate yeah. anybody from, from stepping out of line. You know what I mean? Right. So, with that being said, I think they're not trying to put censorship on freedom of speech. Yeah. It's just some more so stopping. Like false, no misinformation or shit like that, right? I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even say misinformation. Okay, it, it could be, yeah. it could be truthful information. No, and, you know, and that's exactly you know, my point, bro. Trying, yo. Because <laughs> what if, okay, well, up, you know? who, who, how do I say this? Like, whenever it comes to something being true or false, misinformation, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. There's only a handful of people that know that it's true or false uh, because you know you got you know media companies putting out the report and you hopefully you trust the source and then people. However, who's to say that, like, for example, the Hunter Biden laptop, right? Yeah. The whole shit with that, bro. As true as that was, you had social media companies removing the, you know, removing the, the, the post from the social media. Mm -hmm. And then also um, uh, not, you know, stopping the ability to share the, you know, the post or whatever. So with that said, bro, and that was true. So that's why you got to be careful with the whole censorship. And, uh, because, like, look, look, just if you have enough power... You can you restrict the masses from receiving certain information. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and it could be true, and it could be true. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 absolutely. That's cold, man. It's cold. Hey, it's cold. Now, man. Hey, mm -hmm. that just makes me 
you gotta decide. Like you said, yeah. then you gotta pick and choose what you do want to share. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. With that said, um, I think we should close it up. Yeah, at the time. Yeah, bro. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, this is the Squadcast TV, the smoothest podcast in the world. I'm your host, Chucky. My boy, go ahead and give them drop your social medias, YouTube uh, if you uh, got so it. Sure. Drop all your stuff, man. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, let me see. Lately, I have been adding some stuff. You can follow me on YouTube. Uh, YouTube Afro Skater Die. I'm gonna do that. Let me right see. Now. Let me see what else we got. Uh, IG, IG Rashad Jones. That's that's easy all day. You know, we don't need no no special tags around here. Okay. Only for the his name. Uh, we also got the gaming page. The gaming page. Uh, sometimes I do stream. Uh, a lot of times I'm just creating. If you have ideas, anything you want to drop, if you are want to collab, uh, I'm trying to make video games. So uh, Fat Daddy Studios. Yes, sir. Check that out. That's uh, two T's. Got it. All right, y'all. Yeah. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned until the next one. This yes, is Squadcast. Peace.